Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa. This is episode 6 and as you can see we have to head out. Oh look we got a sword. Okay so we have to go and head to the diner because Taka's like we all have to get together now so we can yeah okay um hang on let me move the mic okay so oh look it's our favorite person Toko good morning Toko and she gives me dots wow I say good morning to you and this is what I get fine gosh um Toko what's your problem <laughs> what Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? <laughs> I know. I just need to prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? <laughs> I'm so nervous. Goodness. What's she so nervous about? I mean... I mean, it's Toko. She's nervous about everything. Okay, well, I guess we should go now. They're, they're, they don't want to be like... You're late, Macau Cow. Cause you know. Anyways, okay. Oh look, everybody's here. Okay. Well, I guess we should talk to Taka, cause it's, you know, this is his doing. He wanted everyone to get together. So. Listen to me. Okay. Looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Give me a break. I didn't make time for this crap. You dragged me here. Hmm. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but... In order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step of this is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? <laughs> Nothing at all. Hey! Anything. It can be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Oh, no. Oh, snap. Huh? Uh -huh. Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it. What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, what? sounds like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But crap. Piece of shit! No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a crap. <laughs> sure, feel free. Huh, uh... Uh, okay, so nobody has any clues. What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who. One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped in here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that. But for now, actual actual clues are. Uh, um. Poor Chihiro. Huh. What's up? Um... Do you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? <laughs> oh... A murderous fiend? Chihiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Uh, okay. <clears throat> well, have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? <laughs> the monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The, world, the word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. 
and on the internet they started calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. <sighs> they say he claimed over a thousand victims. Hmm. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like ten people would be totally insane. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> dots. Hmm. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is his ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But... But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah. It's okay. Everything's absolutely, positively, 100%, without a doubt, gonna be okay. Because help's gonna come here soon. I'm sure of it. <sighs> huh? <laughs> help? Because, I mean... We've been stuck in here a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> God damn it, what now, Monokuma? What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police! Bastard! What are you doing here? You guys? Seriously, do you understand what role the police exist to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them. And that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? I mean, come on. If you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> no. What the hell? What the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Buttface, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer, you get your, your whatever the hell you said, huh? That's a pretty long name, German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. Boop, 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 boop. You son of a bitch! Hey, don't ignore me, jerk face. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple days have gone by. Nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make. Oh, sorry, that's Makoto, not Monokuma. <coughs> Give me a minute. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it! Wait, I think, yes, ding, 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 I figured it out! In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there was one very important, very important piece missing. Boop, 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 boop. What are you? you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. Boop, 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 boop. It's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the hell are you talking about? Hey. Oh, um... by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. Boop, boop, boop. You son of a bitch. Stop changing the goddamn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, oh, but don't worry. Exciting. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. Oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know... You... What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know... Despair. That's all. <laughs> Despair. Well, man. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourself. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. <laughs> Cause to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. 
<laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Um, he's gone. And once again, he left behind. He left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However... Perhaps. But what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Hey, Makoto! Check this out for us, would ya? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 Piece of shit! Hey! Mondo, no, kid, no one can hear you outside the school no matter how much you shout. I don't give a F. Stop fucking around. See how passionately I'm begging you? Well, you're not on your knees, so no, I don't. What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Uh, okay, I guess I'll get going then. God, you have to pick on me, Mondo? Jeez. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks, I owe you one. Yeah, you owe me one, all right. Cornhead, I don't know. His hair looks like corn, okay, from an angle. But whatever. Hey, um, if Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. No, we're counting on the both of ya. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. As I always do. But no, seriously, like, from a certain angle, his hair looks like corn, so I don't know. Um. Okay. I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. He's in between. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. Precisely my point. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then, where's the specific place Mondo mentioned? Er, Mon- <laughs> Monokuma mentioned! I, I can totally read, guys, I swear. It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... If it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then it's the AV room, obviously. Okay, so... Let's... Ooh, that is all oh right. Duh, towards the school part. Right here. Is it lagging a bit? I can't really tell. I think it might be. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't lag when I don't record though, because like you know, when I played it the first time, it didn't lag. So. Um, gotta be from recording it. Okay. Oh, look, there's a box that our dear headmaster Monokuma left as Amy a doll. I mean, he kind of is. Like, literally, but he's a robot doll thing. Whatever. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. Should be able to play DVDs. But I don't see any actual discs nearby. A DVD player is useless by itself. If we had something to watch, at least that helped pass the time. And I got a coin! Yay! Okay, well, let's look at the... Wait. Okay. So it's just the box and the player. Huh? There's something inside the cardboard box. It's the DVDs. Um, a bunch of DVDs. And each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be a... I gotta remember to switch voices when, you know, someone else, or when Makoto's talking. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. Uh, hold on a second. I'd better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there while, where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. It's the cardboard box the DVDs were in. Well, okay. Next to the monitors, blah, 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 blah. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. I sorted, I sorted through the DVDs I'd found in the box and found the one with my name on it. Then I slid it into the expensive-looking player. And I mean it, very expensive-looking player. I better not break it. Monokuma will kick my ass if I do. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen and then... Uh -huh. 
I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing. Because when I saw what I saw on the monitor, it was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do, to do even better. But here, now it was totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. This time, I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. And gee, I wonder who it could be. I recognized the voice, of course. It was... Him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Speak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. Good lord. What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? Um, what happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um... What's going on? Without a word, I pointed at the, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it, like... Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed, rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the... What the hell? Th this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on. Yeah, no way it's real. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw their reactions, I knew. They'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave, so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. Both, But both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts we're all afraid someone might betray us. <laughs> Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? What is this? What? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight. Don't you see? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay then. Maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Hmm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka? 
Uh oh. What was in your video, Sayaka? God, that's not good. What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Uh oh. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Oh no. Huh? Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to do? We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. A goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. No. Oh. I w- uh. Hey, Hero, what was on your video? <sighs> hey, Makoto, these videos are some kind of hoax, right? Right. I want to think so, but... What the heck? What the hell, man? <laughs> this is all one big lie. It has to be. Ha 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 Poor hero. Okay, I'm not going to talk to everyone, so let's go. Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far. I should check around the school. If I remember correctly, she was in one of the classrooms, so... I believe it was- yeah, it's this one. Oh, the same one with the drill on my desk. I'm kidding. I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset, or angry, or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. S Sayaka? Are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I I'm, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? Uh, what uh, did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? Uh, I want out! Why? Let me out of here right now! Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, people out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? Sure, Makoto, sure. So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we're already lost. Or we've already lost, whatever. I know I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. Uh, uh, but what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. <gasps> Finally, she raised her face up from. <coughs> excuse me. Finally, she raised her raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big wet eyes of hers. Makoto, can I can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out, no matter what it takes. A absolutely. Makoto, you're the only one I can trust. So please, no matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> huh? Of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. <laughs> Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. 
Hearing you say that, I feel I can keep going. I... I can get through this, as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I knew this was coming, but I mean, it's still funny as hell. It's standing up! Kira! Makoto! It's standing up! What's standing up? Come on! You even have to ask! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Your flagpole! Get the hell out of here! Just a minute! No, no, I want to join it! Monokuma, just please go away. Like, that is just... I'm not even gonna. Damn it! Well, if he won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. <laughs> oh my god! It's about to come out! It's gonna come out! My <laughs> I can't read this with a straight face. Yeah! Stuffing! Happy Thanksgiving! I'm just kidding, not that kind of stuffing. Oops. My honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out! I balled up my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had! Voila! Are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations! Boy, are you slow, 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 slow. I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in that time you took you finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. Gee, thanks, Monokuma. Um, what the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um, well, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we just created. Because that's what he does. Saika and I headed back to the dorms. You should get some rest, Saika. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Saika was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my own room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video, I needed some rest of my own. Jeez, seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in that video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here, but I could never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Well, if they did, this would be a pretty short game. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Someone's at my door. Is it Taka or Sayaka? Huh? No, I just say that just to, you know, make it more dramatic and intense. I'm kidding. Taka's like, hey, Makoto, I need a favor. No, I'm kidding. When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? Good question. Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. <laughs> something really weird? Makoto. Just a little while ago. Why does it say Makoto saying this when it's her? Uh, I, I don't know. Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room, and all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. I don't think I noticed this error before when I played it, but 
Or maybe I did, I just don't remember. I don't know. Because it's been so long since I've, like, played the start of the game, so it's like, you know. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. Oh, there, now it's fixed. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. But, like, they know you can't get the doors open when they're locked, so I mean. Who's dumb enough to do that? I don't know. I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. Yeah, I guess if I were fin finally we're like, oh, well, the doors won't open when they're locked, and you can't pick at them. Okay, I'm gonna go get some grub at the diner hall. Bye, guys. Here, why are you uh, trying to break in? I don't know. I forgot the whole locks can't be picked rule. I'm just, I'm just being a derp. Okay. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Makoto. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to, someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during nighttime. What? That's just a promise we, we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise... Yeah, because it's not like an official rule, so they won't be, like, punished by Monokuma if they do that, so... But then, why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? I can sleep on the floor! You can have my bed! Oh, but there's no couch for me to sleep on. Like, okay, Makoto, you sleep on the couch! Oh, wait, there is no couch. Huh? What? All it said in the school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But, but, two people sharing one room is, you know... Ah! Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um... N no I know, me either. It's not even that I mind the idea, but... Um, if you don't mind, can we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room, but... Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> it's fine. I trust you. In that case, then... And there's the nighttime bell. Hmm. <clears throat> Let as such, soon the doors to the dot. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Let us go to bed. Um, oh, man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Okay, if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys, too. <laughs> ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. Miss Psychic... I almost said Psycho. <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah, Miss Psychic here. Again? God, Psychic, what the heck? Like I said, I'm Psychic. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. Huh? Hey, aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? What if I'm actually Psychic Makoto? <laughs> Something resembling a smile had made its way to her face. Thank goodness, it looks like she's already starting to get back to normal. Okay, we better trade keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys, and then I looked back up at her again. There was another worried expression there. Um, Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift on the door while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open, no problem. Um... Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I'd better get going. See you tomorrow... Oh, see you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and what about... About what I said before. Hmm? <laughs> when I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Or was it? Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. <laughs> yeah, let's call it that. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. Saika gave me one last parting smile, and I headed off into my room, quote unquote. Okie dokie, Saika's room, which is like right next door. God, why was that lagging so bad just now? I looked around as soon as I got out into the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Saika's room. I like how her bed's like purple. So this is Saika's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine except the bed colors. It smells nice though. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. That's the DVD. There wasn't any doubt about it. It was the DVD with her name on it that we'd found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was in her video. But it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. The bed itself looked exactly the same, but knowing Saika slept on it makes me look forward to trying it out for myself. Wow, Makoto. And it gave me a coin! Oop, 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 oop. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluct reluctant to go in. A surveillance camera. It makes sense there be one in here. Now can we go to sleep? The bed itself looks exactly the same, but oh. Okay. Okay, so. It's officially nighttime. I better not leave the room. Ugh. Oh, right, the desk. My room came with a toolkit, but Saika has a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is the map of the body's vital organs. I don't think Saika would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself into Saika's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Saika's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. Feeling a little better than before, I fell asleep. Imagine you're all on a big spaceship, in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We set sail and left Earth behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game, but... But even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call her, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together. Whatever you say, Monokuma, whatever you say. And there's the morning bell. Can I go back? Can I go back to bed now, Monokuma? Thanks. Yeah. Good morning. Get ready to gr Blah, blah, blah. Same thing, same thing. I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes slowly. I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Saika's room. Maybe I'll go back to sleep. <laughs> I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. Oh, that's right. If I don't, Taka's gonna barge in here. Makoto, what are you doing in Saika's room? Nothing. Uh, I better get going before Taika rats me out again. I left Saika's room and made my way toward the dining hall. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good morning! Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. I mean, I can believe it because it's you, Taka, but... <laughs> good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning! <laughs> I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late... Yo. Yo. 
I don't know why I read that, but whatever. Sorry. Uh, sorry I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. I mean, I feel her. I, I get that. Trust me, I get that. Ah, well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning at a duty. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. I, I burst out laughing at that. I apologize. <laughs> My morning hat of duty took a lot longer than usual. I mean, I think we all get that too, so... We're the types of the more relaxed sense of time. Sorry, I'm just... My brain's, like, not all there right now, so... It, it's mainly due to, like, holiday stress and stuff, so I'm... If I'm stumbling over the... Or the normal, which I totally am, and that's why. So bear with me here. <laughs> Get it? Bear with me. <laughs> okay. We're the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Well, I thought Celeste would be like one of the earlier people because it's Celeste. I mean, I don't know. My bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? Uh, what? Is it so awful to be late? God, I hate you all. Yo. I didn't oversleep, just so you know. Nope, got lost. <laughs> yeah, I totally overslept. Oops. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. Or... <clears throat> Almost everyone. At least, that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, aren't we still missing some people? Oh, wait. Uh. Yeah, Byaki is not here either. Oops, almost forgot about him. <clears throat> Sorry to all the Byakia fans out there. I'm just kidding. Yeah, Saika and Byakia aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakia, but I would definitely put Saika in the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late... What? What's going on? Did something happen? Well, that solves half of the problem here. Yo. Hey, man, have you seen Saika? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Uh... Did she forget about her breakfast promise? However... I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small, dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. Oh no. I, I need to go. I have to check on her. The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Uh oh. I mean, I, I already know what's happened, but I'm just going to let you guys feel all the suspense. Where I headed first was my room, where I let Saika stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. <clears throat> safe. But over the course of that one night, Oh, there we go! It's all been out of shape. The room had been completely transformed. What the hell? The bed's been damaged, too. How am I gonna sleep in there? Says Makoto. There's a keychain on the ground. It has my name on it, so it must be my room key. I gave it to Saika when we traded rooms. This is... The replica sword I brought back for self-defense. It's the sheath for the replica sword. The sword itself has been removed. More importantly, where's Sayaka? Well, guys, it's been a great episode, but I'm gonna leave it here. I'm just kidding. I would not do that to you guys. But I might end it quickly, though, just because it's kind of late. And, yeah. But I, I won't leave it on the cliffhanger, I promise. There are slashes and gouges on the wall and the floor. More importantly, where's Sayaka? Uh, I can tell you where. Right through that door. <laughs> I'd better check the bathroom. Makoto, guard your loins. I'm kidding. Let's take a look inside. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, looks like she did! <clears throat> Sorry. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. 
and then, and then, everything went black. Poor Makoto. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at the ceiling, or at a huge ceiling. Sorry. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before, and when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah! Ah, you're awake! Finally, are you okay? <coughs> Now's no time for sleeping! Get your ass up! Huh? Uh, um... You were unconscious, dude! I had to carry you back here! And I carried you bridal style, because I love you, Makoto! <coughs> <laughs> okay, well. it's no surprise considering what happened. What happened? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. Hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw, it was real? <laughs> That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead, Makoto. Get over it. I mean, that, that's totally something he'd say, so I mean... A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body, and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... If Sayaka is... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. What? Listen to us, man! What do you think's gonna happen if you get out of here, or go out there? Well, what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in a gym at a time like this? Our friend, Saika, she's... she's dead! Dead, when I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now, either. Then, why? <laughs> Shouldn't it be obvious? M Monokuma, he told us to come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember that terrible price Saika had to pay. But... So... I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Makoto, if that were the truth, this would be a very boring game. No offense. Wrong! I would never do that! You can believe anything! You can believe that! <laughs> he's here again. Hey! Um... Unless someone violates a school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere! I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the Bear Times 1 rule. But... Then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. I mean, I hope you do. The one who killed her is one of you! Nobody had a reply to that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Wah wah? Hmm? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about, about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? <laughs> One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong! Nope! Sorry! One of you know- One of you is now a bona fide killer! A murderer! If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact! What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Uh, are you serious? Wh what is this? Someone... Someone killed someone! Well, I mean, Saika didn't kill herself. So, like, I mean, no, that's not, that's not really a spoiler, because, like, you know, it's obvious she didn't kill herself, so. I mean, is it? I guess it is. But, yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hmm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Sorry, this is killing my voice here, so like... Huh? Hey! Come on! Don't play dumb, that's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Hairball. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cause... <laughs> naive. You're just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? Hey, come on now. You're super naive, devilishly naive, hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations. If you are the blacken that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you are talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it, duh. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. <laughs> a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Hmm. Yep, it'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blacken who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct... Sorry, I was fiddling with the mic real quick. Only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Oh, yeah, well... Hmm. Oh, hey, well, to put it simply... What? It's execution! Poo -poo. <laughs> <laughs> execution! What? And by execution, you mean... Chihiro, do you not know what an execution is? It's okay. We love you, but... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! <laughs> So to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well, done. What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. Sorry, I was up doing stuff, and then I came back, so. But I edit out, like, all the time when I'm, like, have, when I have to get up and go away from the game for a while. I'll just, I just edit those parts out so it's, you're not like sitting here waiting. So. so it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Hmm. But judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Hey. 
<laughs> Wait, hold on a second. The hell are you talking about? You're freaking insane, you know that. Huh? Huh? What the? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it. What do you mean, why not? Uh-oh. I mean, why did I say uh-oh? I don't know why I said uh-oh. Why did I say uh-oh? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What the hell are you talking about? What? Punishment? Hmm. I might. I don't know. Throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up. Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be part of this. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds funny. Don't be so selfish. Stop it. You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. <sighs> the evil standing here before me. I'm trembling with fear. Shing. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. Uh-oh. As he said that, he came charging at us, although it was more of a... <laughs> of a waddle. Oh my god, that's just too funny. But then... Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed. You violated a school regulation. I invoke the mighty summon spell. Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnir! Uh oh, she did a thing, and then he's gonna do a thing, so... Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! What the? I don't... This, this can't be real. No way! Well now. Now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from bobbing up for no good reason, you know. <laughs> but I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson. After all, ah, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. Oh lordy, when he says he's serious, he means it. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you'd best obey those school regulations. Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody, nobody there could deny that what they'd seen. Junko, who had until a second ago had been our friend was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. Yes, Makoto, we get it. Do you have to keep, like, repeating it in different phrases? Because, I mean, in simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Like I was saying, Makoto. Hey, um... It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual light of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. <laughs> this is reality! We get it, Monokuma. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Sorry, just making sure the mic was on, so... Come on! 
come on! What do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Well now... Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the Black Inn. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it... It's the Monokuma file! Hmm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and causes of death. Yeah. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because he's got the surveillance camera and he's watching us all. Because <laughs> the surveillance camera has picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then... Wait, so then you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial now, could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. Oh, n goodness. And for who knows how long. Nobody said a word. The fact that Saika and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But that was more... There was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey, now's no time to wall in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who would decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> continuing to think about the talk about... <clears throat> excuse me. Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable to or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. Alright, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right, we just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. That's what it takes to survive, and that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I know I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Yeah, go Makoto! <laughs> Okay, I'm going to end this episode here, and we will continue in the next one, because it's getting kind of late and everything. I don't know why I record these late at night, it's just because, I don't know. I'm, that's when I'm in the mood to record these, so whatever. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode, and I will see you in the next one, and hopefully this one was a little longer than my other ones. If not, I apologize, but whatever. Anyways, so I'll catch you guys later. Take care!